Thank you, Gary. I want to also thank uh, Regional Director Al Taylor for letting us use the facility today. Hopefully that makes it uh, a lot easier for you, the media, to get to us. I know you were busy with Election Day yesterday, and I know it's tough to get out to Batavia where we sometimes do these things. So I, I hope this makes it easier for you, and we appreciate you coming here today and sharing some time with us. Uh, what we're here today for is to talk about the upcoming uh, Buckle Up New York wave, which begins November 12th. Uh, we're going to have some speakers to show you uh, the importance of the new of the Buckle Up New York wave and uh, talk about some uh, issues that relate to it to make you understand the importance of Buckle Up New York. As well as the uh, holiday season is coming upon us and uh, traffic safety and the initiatives we'll have and the, and the stresses we'll have on traffic safety during the holiday season when the volume of traffic picks up to be the busiest of any time of the year. I'm going to introduce the speakers now and then let them uh, rotate through as we talk. And today you will be hearing from uh, Chittawaga Police Chief Christine Ziemba, who is here, uh, who is here and a good ally of the state police. And then uh, you will hear from Mrs. New York, uh, Jennifer Steller. Uh, For the Buckle Up New York campaign, at this time of year, um, people often tend to become somewhat distracted when they're driving. They've got their minds on a number of issues outside of uh, focusing on what their responsibilities are on the road. This increases the chances of accidents. When they're not buckled up or they don't have their passenger seat belted in, it also increases the chance of injury, perhaps death. We uh, strongly support the concept of all passengers and all drivers buckling up. With the weather changes, that also increases the, the opportunities of accidents and just really increases the, the chances that accidents become much more serious. Ultimately, when all is said and done, if the motivation isn't there to decrease the chance of any type of serious injury, any type of fatality. On behalf of the York County Sheriff's Office and actually all of the sheriffs across New York State, I'm proud also to be here to pledge our support for this new campaign. Um, we can't really add much to what uh, Chief Ziemba said except to say for the, the higher probability of becoming involved in an accident as we continue with the snow that will soon be upon us. Um, this is the time to get into the habit of wearing a ticket. Uh, the campaign's gone on for more than 50 years. There's still way too sense to use your seatbelts, and it's an honor to be here. Hello, on a much greater spectrum to the public regarding the importance of safe driver awareness, which includes wearing a seatbelt. Within 11 months, I faced and conquered death twice. Both times were due to the careless and reckless driving of before he would pull away. I was born in 1979 and raised outside of Buffalo, New York in a small town called Brandt. In 1980, I lost my uncle Joseph Shinta in a car accident. He was not wearing a seatbelt, and that was five years prior to the enactment of the seatbelt law, and I wonder if he'd still be alive today had he been wearing that seatbelt. 24 years after that, success in my dreams of acting and a chance of Hollywood seemed to be just shimmering in the distance. The accident changed my life forever as I stayed here in Buffalo with my family to heal. I was 24 and finally back on top of the world and ready to get back to life. He watched as I went flying towards that windshield, but he closed his eyes that instant that he saw it happening. Only to open them and find that that seatbelt pulled me back into place, giving me another chance at life. Yes, you know, we sustained injuries and, and it was such a high impact crash that I, I accidents, I'll tell you the truth. <laughs> I did feel it was a violation of my personal freedom for government to demand that I wear a seatbelt. But I can assure you that after facing your own mortality twice, the significance of a seatbelt is insurmountable. Having your license is a privilege, and each and every one of us needs to have ended, but it was a day my life truly began. I have since become inspired with a mission, purpose, and passion to spread this message of safe driver awareness. I look forward to my year not only as Mrs. New York, but my partnership that I share with both the Honorable New York Group A for now over five months, I have found that these state troopers, including Sergeant Miller, they're more than law enforcement. They truly are the people that have a passion to save lives and live it each and every day. And I'm gonna be forever grateful to Sergeant Miller who allowed my father and I this opportunity of a lifetime, taking a tragedy in our life and using it for the greater good of our empire state. Thank you to DeLacy Ford. Um, so whenever I do come back, uh, I love it here. I love the people of, of Western New York. And um, when this opportunity came up, I really jumped at it because I love the people of Western New York. But the purpose of today's event is of such a gravity that being here was imperative for me. And that is really uh, driver safety, seatbelt safety. 
Uh, first, let me thank uh, DOT Al Taylor for his invitation to use this facility. It's a beautiful facility, and I appreciate the effort that they put forward and his staff has put forward to help us out here. Thanks to Sheriff Tim Howard, uh, Chief Christine Ziemba, Chief McCourt, uh, Commissioner uh, Gibson for coming out to support us, um, and all the other law enforcement personnel here today. And of course, uh, welcome and thank you to Jennifer for all you do and, and for just being a part of this because I think it gives a lot, a whole lot to this whole program. And, and I can't thank you enough, and I'm sure the people in this room, uh, the troopers in this room, and the police officers in this room can't thank you or not, can't thank you a lot for uh, your efforts in this area. We, we really do truly appreciate it. We are truly fortunate to have so many dedicated people in Western New York who are so committed to making our roads and highways safer. I've traveled here today because of my own deep sense of concern for the safety of New York's families who will be taken to the highways in the coming weeks over the Thanksgiving holidays. Today, each of us face a variety of threats, not the least of which are terrorism and violent crime. But the reality is the average person is far greater, is at far greater risk of death or serious injury from car crashes than from any other cause. For comparison, a homicide is committed every 32 minutes in this country, but a traffic fatality occurs every 12 minutes. A violent crime is committed every 23 seconds in this country, but someone is injured in a car crash every 11 seconds. Even the impact of terrorism on this state and nation pales when compared to the human losses we suffer on our roads and highways. For example, in 2001, that's the year of the 911, um, which is probably the darkest day in our history, more than 42,000 people died on America's roads and highways. And that is kind of like a startling statistic to a lot of people. In fact, New York State alone since, 19, since uh, 2001, more than 7,500 people have lost their lives on the roadways. And many people don't remember them other than their loved ones. These are not numbers, they are people we are talking about. People with families, jobs, and dreams. And these deaths are not mere accidents. For the most part, they are caused by behaviors with inherent risks and outcomes that are predictable and therefore preventable. That is why we are here today to not only raise awareness of the danger of engaging in risk-taking behaviors such as speeding, drinking and driving, and not buckling up, but to share the responsibility for preventing these tragedies, preventing these tragedies in the coming weeks. With the holidays fast approaching, the stakes couldn't be higher. So beginning on Monday, November 12th, and continuing throughout the Thanksgiving Day weekend, New York's law enforcement agencies will be, re will be united in their efforts to prevent traffic crashes. It is the latest in our installment of Buckle Up New York, our Click It or Ticket campaign. The Thanksgiving Day holiday period is the most traveled holiday period of the year. It's when most people go to visit their families to share a meal. Law enforcement agencies statewide will be conducting safety belt checkpoints and assigning special patrols to look for those risk takers who drive without buckling up. Here in Troop A, Major Chris Cummings has ordered checkpoints in every county over that two-week period. I've asked troop commanders statewide to be equally vigilant. The Buckle Up New York click-it-or-ticket effort is not new, but now 